Um, I'm not loving the lighting in this video. I'm gonna apologize right off the bat. Hello, book friends. Welcome back to Books and Tea Time. We're vlogging again. Um, it probably doesn't feel this way to you, but for me, it feels like forever since I've vlogged because I did not vlog really at all last week and I decided not to post a vlog. I actually, just a few hours ago, filmed a favorites video, a like 2020 so far favorites video, basically just things that make me happy, different things like books, makeup items, TV shows, all the like and I posted that so that'll actually be live already when you are watching this video but right now we're starting a new vlog. Why haven't I vlogged a lot the past week and a half to two weeks? First thing is uh, school started and it kind of hit hard and I've been working and doing a lot for school work so my reading game has been a little off but also I have fallen into a terrible Netflix binging hole and I am re-watching The Walking Dead. I'll give you more information about this um, as the video proceeds because a couple people have asked me uh, about my opinions of The Walking Dead and I would love to gush about it so we're gonna but basically I have been re-watching The Walking Dead and that takes up all the time that I'm not using attending zoom classes or doing schoolwork so i have done basically no reading but this week i'm gonna try and amend that and i actually have to because i have to read for school but we're going to also try and read for fun as well so i'm just gonna gloss over uh the stuff i have to read for school i am continuing my reading of pierce plowman uh this is probably gonna be in every video because i'm reading this for the entire semester it's a middle english poem and we're taking it really slow so i have to read like six pages of this this week which doesn't sound like a lot but when you're reading middle english for the first time let me tell you it's a drag uh, i'm not gonna bore you with more detail because honestly it's very niche kind of a thing. I don't know how many people are going to be really interested in it. I also have started Jane Eyre. I have to read this in like a week or two. We're starting to, to discuss it for the class that I am a TA for. So I want to read it ahead of time, get my thoughts, my bearings, and re-experience Jane Eyre. So I read the introduction, um, so I'm not very far in, and it's a beefy book, guys. And then for a research class, I am going to be delving into Paradise Lost. So I'm starting Paradise Lost this week. I'm planning to read like 60 or 70 pages. We'll see how far I actually get. But yeah, Paradise Lost, everybody. I'm starting it. This is one of my most anticipated classics that I want to read. It's like on my classics TBR. I'm actually really excited to read and analyze this and to experience Paradise Lost by John Milton. So that's the third one. So those are the three school books that I have to read this week but then also I'm currently in the middle of an audiobook it is Hello Girls I don't remember the author I believe there are two authors and I don't remember either of them but yeah I'm listening to the audiobook for Hello Girls uh, it's about two high school age girls and they both kind of have not so great of a home life for different reasons I'm not that far into it but I think they're gonna run away together and things are gonna ensue. I'm kind of getting to the point where they're like about to like take the leap and try and escape the lives that they've been living. Really most of the information thus far has been background information about like how they met, became friends, and like their different lives and how they intersect. So I'm in the middle of the audiobook for that, hopefully gonna finish it. And then also I really really need to finish A Dream So Dark. I started this I think two weeks ago. I'm 100 pages in, action-packed, it's interesting, urban fantasy, Alice in Wonderland retelling, Buffy the Vampire Slayer vibes, black girl magic, I mean say no more. I really want to read this but like I said I'm sucked into TV binging right now. It's not that I don't want to read, it's just that it's easier right now and more appealing for me to just binge watch TV. Right now, I just finished up class and I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. Welcome to the vlog, welcome back, or welcome for the first time if you're new. I'm Adeline slash Addy, whatever you prefer, and I'm happy to have you here. So, welcome to Books and Tea Time.
All while I was filming that intro, Milo has been diligently watching out the window, making sure no intruders are coming. And this is his little mouse friend. Milo. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's now Wednesday. Uh, I didn't vlog at all yesterday, um, nothing really interesting going on. Uh, I tried painting my nails black and it looks good from far away, but up close I really hate how dirty they get. Like I got foundation on them and they're very smudgy, so I'm probably gonna take this off ASAP. But I was trying to go for October Halloween vibe because Everyone's really excited for September 1st in fall, and I love fall. Autumn uh, is my favorite season of the year. However, I also love Halloween. So everyone is like getting really excited for like pumpkin spice lattes and you know, autumnal decorations, but I'm like Halloween ready. I'm ready for the the dark, the goth, the creepy, the Halloween-y. Anyway, I've got some reading updates and some life updates, just things to tell you guys. I have class, I have my medieval literature class in 20 minutes. Reading updates first. I just reached the 38% point of Hello Girls and I'm still like, okay, like I'm enjoying it. The main characters, their friendship is really sweet and they're very funny. Uh, and they just started their um, their rebellious endeavor, their rebellious journey. I'll leave it at that. I don't want to give you guys uh, too many spoilers, but they kind of allude to something happening in the synopsis. As you saw yesterday, I read, I think, six more pages of Piers Plowman, basically like chapter one. I'm getting a little better at reading Middle English without the help side. This is kind of like No Fear Shakespeare, where it's like Middle English on one side and like modern English translation on the other side. So I do have that helpful aid, but I'm trying to read as much of the Middle English without help as I can and it's not too terrible so I'm making progress in this. Also just today I read English Bards and Scotch Reviewers by Lord Byron. This is one of the things that I'm just reading uh, for my research course like background information. Uh, it's Byron's second published work. It is a response to a critical review of his first. So the first thing he published was like a collection of poems and they got some bad reviews and so this is his second thing and it is a poem, a satirical poem, basically uh, responding to the negative criticism that his first work got and the best contemporary analog that I can think of to describe this to you is if you've seen The Office you know the episode where Michael Scott has everybody do like roasts of him and it doesn't go really well and he gets offended and then he doesn't show up to work and then at the very end of the episode he comes back and he roasts everybody and it's like hilarious. That is basically what this is. It's just roasting all of like the critics and reviewers and other poets that are like writing at the same time that he is. And it's actually kind of funny. Um, there are some some intense digs and sassy points in here. Uh, it's not his best work by any means, but I wanted to read it just for background information and to get some quotes, and I did. So I read that and I'm officially, after this, up to 52 books on my Goodreads and my goal is 55, so we're doing really well. The life updates. I watched about six more episodes of The Walking Dead last night. <laughs> I'm on the middle of season four. I'm really flying through it and I'm starting to remember why season four for me was where it kind of drops off and again I'm gonna take some time to do a Walking Dead chat in this vlog but I don't really have time for it right now. Then the other thing this past weekend, you guys didn't see this because I didn't vlog last weekend, but uh, I am in a fantasy football league with Alexander and all of his siblings. He has uh, four brothers and sisters and then a half sister, but she's not in the league. But anyway, so there are five of them and one of me and we form our own fantasy football league every year. Milo. 
Milo, you want to come say hi? Oh no, get off my bed. Your feet are soaking wet. Get Milo just came in here with soaking wet paws and jumped on my bed, so that's fun. But anyway, so yeah, I'm in a fantasy football league with Alexander and his siblings, and we drafted this past weekend. And I take this so seriously. And the team name for my team is Milo's Meatballs. Milo is my dog. I don't know why meatballs, but I just thought it was funny. So I stuck with it. And this is my team. I'll zoom in for you guys and you can pause it if you're into football and you care about it. But this is the paper that I wrote on while we were drafting. And I'm feeling good about it this year. I won the first year, the very first year, and I haven't won since. So I'm trying to get my second championship this year, bringing it back. And I'm feeling, I'm pretty confident. I'll keep you guys updated, but right now I'm gonna get ready and go to class. full-on green fairy mermaid vibe today with my eyeshadow. Uh, I don't know what got into me, but I felt like going green. So that's what we did. But let's talk for a sec. The sun is setting, if you couldn't tell, or it's like about to. Um, I just finished filming a video. My voice hurts. Uh, so far today, I have done a little bit of homework. I have to scan a poem, and I suck at scanning poems. I went by myself to a used bookstore, and I was going to get, like, three different books. I wanted so many different books, and they didn't have any of them, and I was really disappointed. So when I came home, I had to place an order to get some of the books that I want slash need, but I did end up getting four graphic novels. Um, I got the second installment of Ms. Marvel, uh, which is a new, newer series by Willow Wilson. I got the second copy of this book, or the second volume, called Generation Y. Super clever, super funny. I talked about my Wonder Woman comics a couple times in the past few videos. And I was looking for volume 3 of Greg Rucka's Wonder Woman, and I couldn't find it, but I did get volume 4 called God Watch. So I figured I should grab it at a decent price while I still could, and I am going to go to a comic book store here in the next week or two and try and find the third volume. I don't know if I've ever really talked about this on my channel because I read these books a while ago, like before I started my channel, but I love the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. It's like an epic seven book fantasy series. It's like a fantasy sci-fi horror hybrid story and they have a prequel comic series and I didn't know, or graphic novel comics, I'm not sure, um, but I'm really, really thrilled to read this. So this is the Dark Tower, the Gunslinger, born so i'm assuming we're gonna get to look at roland before book one um of the dark tower series which is called the gunslinger so after i read this i'll give you guys more information about when it's set and what it's about uh generally if you're interested in it a lot of the graphic novels that i have been wanting to read i've been wanting to get into graphic novels more and a lot of the ones that i wanted to check out weren't there and the guy uh was actually really nice he talked to me about it and he was like yeah those particular ones tend to go really fast when we do get copies of them because they're really popular. But I did get one by the same company who does the other ones. The company is Image Comics. And this was only $5 and it immediately caught my attention because it was right by the Wonder Woman section. But it's called Witches. Like, look at this cover. Oh my god. It's so intriguing in the art style. I didn't really give you guys a flip through the other ones. Maybe I will But like the colors the art style just looks so cool I don't really know what it's about other than the back says uh, when the Rooks family moves to the remote town of Litchfield, New Hampshire To escape a haunting trauma. They they're hopeful about starting over But something evil is waiting for them in the woods just beyond the town watching from the trees ancient and hungry so this sounds really dark, kind of spooky, like the perfect thing to read in October. I'll give you guys a flip through of the other ones. So this is the Gunslinger one. And then Wonder Woman. I love the art style for these. This Wonder Woman is so good. Um, and then Ms. Marvel. 
there we go as i'm starting my graphic novel journey come along with me oh <sighs> i have to go figure out what we're eating for dinner but i wanted to show you guys my eyeshadow show you guys my little haul peace out my desk which is both the place where I do my makeup and the place where I attend class <laughs> I'm in the middle of actually doing my makeup I just put like my foundation and my concealer on and I'm about to do my eyeshadow and I thought that while I did this I would talk to you guys about The Walking Dead as I promised to do and just give you some updates but first things first um, I think I'm gonna mix two of the palettes that I have I have this really dirty ColourPop palette uh it's the dream street palette it looks like this as you can see there are some very well loved shades in here i think i'm gonna go for like a peachy pink look today and then i'm gonna use a little bit of my profusion paradise palette which is also healthy before we get into the walking dead stuff just some updates yesterday i spent most of the day just doing like homework and different things so i read like another i think 20 pages of pierce plowman which is for my medieval literature class and i just finished up like an hour ago i had to read i think like six or seven william blake poems from songs of innocence so i did both of those yesterday and this afternoon almost done with hello girls the audiobook that i was listening to this week i only have I think like 45 minutes off so I'm hoping to finish that up today uh, and just be done with that and then also last night I read before bed I read like 40 or 50 pages of A Dream So Dark by Ella McKinney um, I'm probably not going to finish that before the end of this vlog I'm taking my good old sleep time with that but now that we've got the reading updates out of the way let's talk about my opinions on The Walking Dead I'm currently uh i think like in the middle of season five just some background about my experience so i watched seasons one through three after they had come out so the show was like in between seasons three and four when my family and i started watching it so we watched it at our own pace like we binged it like when we wanted to binge it and did our own thing with it and then after we finished season three we had caught up to the show in real time so season four was the first season that we watched live on tv week to week and i think that i i don't know if i'm spoiled by binge culture or what but i really like waiting until shows are completely finished before i watch them so i think that watching the walking dead live made it more difficult to enjoy and that's not because it was necessarily bad it's because you think about it like when you're watching a show like that that's like serious it's like sort of like a drama kind of a show you have certain episodes that are less action-packed and less intense than others but when you're watching it live week to week and you wait an entire week to see the episode and then you watch it live with commercials in between first of all the commercials are annoying i hate commercials in general but it really like it just it takes away from the experience takes away from the seriousness and the creepiness of like watching a zombie apocalypse show so i didn't really love watching it for that reason live but also, like, if there was a boring episode, it's like I waited an entire week for this and then I don't like the episode, even if the episode was good. But just because, like, we didn't find out anything crazy or nothing crazy happened, I was just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's the expectation and, like, the waiting, I think, puts too much pressure on the show to be incredible and action-packed and crazy every week when, like, realistically, that's not really gonna happen in my opinion like every show has like a slow season there's like every show that i watch 
uh, especially when it's not like a comedy usually those kinds of shows have slow seasons and like that makes sense like or like a season that's like my least favorite but like could be someone else's favorite like that happens with every show and I think that for me season four is one of those seasons in The Walking Dead like I it's not like it's bad but I personally didn't love like the first half of the season follows one kind of like storyline and then it morphs into a second sort of storyline at the end and if you've seen season four you know what I mean by that um, I'm gonna keep this spoiler free I personally wasn't crazy about some of the things that happened in season four but by season five a lot of the problems that i have with season four resolved themselves some of them season four was a slow season and it's the first one that i watched live so it kind of like it detracted a lot from the entertainment value and a lot from like me being invested in it as a show so that kind of sucked the other problem that i have with the show is i think and this happens like later on in season four and season five is when this starts to get really noticeable is that the show is great. It's a zombie apocalypse show. Like it's it's post-apocalyptic. You're fighting zombies and trying to live. And there's two major threats to your favorite like main characters. The zombies or other people who are like bad, evil, who are basically their adversaries. But at a certain point I realized that the uh, that the writers kind of wrote themselves into a hole because you get into this cycle of like they find a place that's safe and then something happens either the zombies or other people take that safe space from safe space from them and then they're back to scavenging and then they have to find a new place that's safe and like that like cycle keeps going on and on and that cycle is fine but other things have to happen for it to be interesting and the show has like nine seasons and it's still not over so like you kind of like it reminds me a lot of like i don't watch Grey's anatomy but i hear a lot of people complain it has like what like 12 or 13 seasons to the point that it gets repetitive and you're just watching it and you know exactly what's going to happen in my opinion the authors the writers whatever of the walking dead solved that like boring problem by killing people like like the only way to like mix things up is to kill popular characters to kill main characters now i understand that people have to die like it's a zombie apocalypse show and there's really only one character that like if they die i will riot and if you watch the show you probably know who i'm talking about but i'm okay with the fact that certain characters have to die sometimes but i don't like when it feels forced and i feel like writers put themselves in a difficult position to keep the show interesting you have the characters that you can't kill or people will stop watching and then you have the characters that like people like but they're expendable and then you have characters that nobody cares about that could die at any point and i feel like their solution to the problem of like the repetitive narrative of like scavenging safe place fighting people fighting zombies is to kill people in that top category if you're gonna kill characters in that top category their death has to be well thought out it has to be like poetic and it has to make you feel like, you know what i mean like i don't know how to describe it but like i don't want them to die for a stupid reason i don't want them to die just because that's the only thing that's gonna like throw people off and people aren't gonna expect it even though i haven't changed my mind about like the issues that i had with some of like the plot things that happened in season four um i did enjoy it more watching it at my own pace because like i can watch a boring episode and then immediately watch a really good episode right after it and it makes the show more interesting i am enjoying it right now i'm enjoying this rewatch, this re-binge those are just my walking dead thoughts um thank you to uh, nerdy nat reads uh if you're watching this thank you for asking me about the walking dead i know i told you a little bit about it but like as i was typing it i was like this is a really complicated explanation so even if i'm just doing this for you um i don't really mind <laughs> but also i have spent so much of my time the past week and a half watching the walking dead and i thought i should explain myself in the reading vlog and talk a little bit about it i'll show you guys the finished product when i'm done in a little bit peace out hello everybody it is sunday evening and I'm just popping on really quick to tell you that I finished the audiobook for Hello Girls um, while I was driving in the car today. And um, this one's just not for me, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This one's just not for me. It wasn't up my alley, so to speak. Overall, I guess it was like a fun, entertaining story in general, but... 
I felt like with the exception of the two main characters, the two girls, Winona and Lucille, that every other character in the book is kind of just like a stereotypical caric caricature of like a character like they're not fleshed out they're just like very typical bad guys evil there's like not a lot of like complexity to any of the other characters and even with Winona and Lucille um I did like their friendship a lot but um I just felt like I was constantly wanting more the things that happened the plot was kind of unrealistic and a little far-fetched most of the time I don't know I just like found myself like forcing myself to finish the book because I haven't finished a book in so long and I think that if I was like in a very quick fast-paced reading mood that I might have DNF'd it so I ended up giving that one two out of five stars uh not the best not really my jam I don't really a lot of contemporary anyway I don't know why I was like excited or intrigued by the book i mean like i was really hoping for a really exciting tale about friendship maybe a little bit of like a friends to lovers kind of a thing with winona and lucille and like there's hints about that maybe happening but like then nothing happens nothing comes of it nothing comes from it so overall it was kind of just disappointing and far-fetched and sometimes a little like predictable i don't know so yeah finish hello girls not the best however on the other hand a dream so dark is heating up and it's interesting and exciting so um it's like 9 30 now i'm probably gonna read for a couple more hours and then hit the hay hello everybody it is now monday evening i'm in my comfies it's a little chilly outside and in the house today so i just felt like attending class in my sweats got some nice sweatpants on my meowth socks and a cozy sweatshirt so uh i'm here to bring you the wrap-up clip so just an overview i fought a reading slump this week a slump we're gonna call it i fought binging television all week and for the beginning of the week i lost that battle I lost it hard. I binge watched I think like a season and a half of The Walking Dead during this vlog alone. So yeah, it was tough but I did finish a book. I finished Hello Girls. Overall I read 475 pages this week which isn't bad considering how terrible I thought I was doing. Like I didn't read really at all this week and I'm hoping that I'm gonna pick it up next week. I am gonna try something new next week and do like a long weekend vlog instead of a week vlog so that you guys don't have to see the boring stuff that I do uh, during like the actual school week. I'll give you more information about that. But thank you so much for watching this video and struggling with me and geeking out and chatting about The Walking Dead with me. I really did enjoy talking about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if that's your jam. I'll see you in the next one. Happy reading, happy writing, and happy living. Bye guys.